So as you can see here, we're connected to our Raspberry Pi terminal. And what we're going to be doing today is setting up a Kodi um, media server. And this is pretty straightforward. So what I'll do is I'll go through one of the add-ons I actually like to install with it, which kind of gives you some TV shows and that. So all we need to do to do this is sudo apt get update, just to make sure our repository is up to date. And now we've done all that, all we need to do to finish the process is sudo apt-get install Kodi. And if you need um, packages to install, it'll pull those in. Otherwise, I've already got it installed in the system. I done it a couple of minutes ago to save time. And we'll just jump back onto the desktop side of it and go through installing that package now. Uh, installing the add-on now. Now, as you can see here, we're in uh, Kodi. Now this one's 1R16 one, uh, which is Jarvis, but if you've got another version that's not a huge issue, it's going to be the same kind of process, just look a tiny bit different. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to System, because we're going to add our repository. What we need to go is go to File Manager, and we're going to add a source for that. And we click Browse because we're going to add a new location. Uh, sorry, I take that back going to get, um, click in there, sorry. And we'll add the address http colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot tv add-ons dot ag. Let's click done on that one. And just for the point of having a name there, I'm just going to call it fusion. That's not really important, it's just kind of an idea of what's going to be called. And as you can see, we've got fusion. If we just kind of go back to home, you now we've added our source, we should just need to go back into system, and we should have add-ons here, and we're going to install from a zip file. Now the zip file is going to be related, located on uh, in that fusion that we just created, and it's going to be Kodi repos, English. And the one we're looking at here is Exodus. So if we scroll down a bit, we see right here Exodus. And we're just going to install that one. And as you can see, it's enabled. So now we've installed zip file, we can install from repository. And as you can see, we've now got Exodus repository. And it's a video add-on, because it adds all our TV and movies. And we just go into Exodus and we click install. Now that'll probably take about a minute to download everything. It shouldn't be too long. Let's just get the basic information. And once that's installed, we should be done. Now it's worth saying with uh, Exodus and Kodi in general, there's a lot of add-ons you can add to it and skins to it so it actually looks and runs a bit better. So I know with Exodus, you may want to drop down the quality and disable a couple of streams there which always ask you to verify a pairing thing they've got with it and it's pretty easy just to get rid of those. So if we just go back home now and we should be able to go into so in order to access the videos you can either click video add-ons or just click on videos and Exodus is a video add-on so we go video add-ons click on Exodus and here we've got here is movies, TV shows and so on and that's it for this one. So if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything else you'd like to do with it, let us know in the comments and we'll walk you through it. Have a nice day.